Hi, I'm Chef Jennifer Brewer and welcome to the New Leaf's Healthy Cooking Challenge. Come on in. This healthy cooking challenge is designed to make it easy for you to eat healthy. So here's the truth. If you want to eat healthier and feed your family healthier foods, you really have to start cooking at home. That's the honest truth. But don't despair. We're gonna make it as easy for you as possible. We'll send you healthy recipes, cooking tips, and lots of inspiration to keep you focused on your goal. So let's get started. So we're starting out the cooking challenge with a bang. This month's challenge is to eat more leafy greens. So why? Well, leafy greens are really the star of the produce world. All fruits and vegetables are good for you, but leafy greens are, as a group, so amazing. So the more you can eat, the better. But of course, leafy greens aren't always on everybody's most favorite list. So this month, what I want you to do is try a leafy green that you've never tried before, put it into a recipe that you absolutely love, even if it requires some experimenting, and eat a serving of leafy greens every day to see how you feel. So there are lots of leafy greens to choose from. You can go with just plain old spinach, which is awesome. Um, I also love chard. Chard is a really earthy green that's actually related to spinach, and it has a really nice flavor. You can get green chard, red chard, or rainbow chard. And then there's dandelion greens. Dandelion greens are really bitter, but they're worth it because these are powerhouses and they're really, really good for your liver. One of my favorite leafy greens are collard greens. Collard greens are really user-friendly. They have a flat leaf, so they're easy to clean and cut. Now, don't even get me started on our next green because it is dinosaur kale. As you can see, they call it dinosaur because of the way its texture is. This green is really tender and delicious raw or cooked. My favorite way to eat this kale is actually in a salad. You can also get kale in a curly variety and it looks something like this. And news flash, like this doesn't just have to be a garnish. Actually, kale cooked with some um, garlic and oil is really, really delicious and really healthy as well. I also love red Russian kale. I mean, this looks like it should be like a bunch of flowers. It, it's just so beautiful, but this is a really, really tasty green. So here just gives you a variety of ideas, and this is a way for you to try the one challenge, which is trying a leafy green that you've never tried before. So see, you have lots of options. So let me give you a few tips about using leafy greens. First of all, the smaller the leaf, is generally the more tender the leafy green is gonna be. So if you have somebody in your house who has a problem with the texture of leafy greens, buy a small bunch. And then secondly, here's my favorite way to cut leafy greens. I actually like it when my leafy greens are in very, very small pieces. So I'm gonna show you one of my favorite cutting techniques. It's called chiffonade. And basically it means to cut into small slices. So that sounds fancy, but it actually really isn't. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your leafy greens and you wash them, and you're gonna lay the leaves on top of each other. And then you're gonna roll them, almost like you were rolling a burrito. And then you're gonna take your knife and you're gonna run it down the end and cut your leafy green into these small slices, chiffonade. The advantage of this, the advantage of having greens in small pieces is that it has more surface area to soak up whatever you're cooking it with, whether it's a sauce or some oil and garlic, and that would just give it a lot more flavor. So that's your challenge for this month. Eat more leafy greens. Now, one more thing before you go. We're having a contest and you can win the opportunity for me to come into your home and help set up your kitchen and your pantry and help you strategize healthy cooking for you and your life and your schedule. So all you need to do is go to the Healthy Cooking blog and tell us what is your biggest challenge in cooking more healthfully at home and we'll select a winner at the end of the month. So stay tuned for that and we'll actually be following that person on the blog so you can read all about their experiences and we'll see you next month.